All right, guys, we're back. Three games in a row winning with goblins. I really feel like you should bring in Chandra's deck against this. But I'm not the one playing it. Now am I? There's red. Maybe it is Chandra's deck. Maybe I should be afraid. We'll see what happens, though. He's also played first every time we've played, which makes sense. But he's playing 90 cards in his deck. Don't do that. 95 cards in the deck, guys. Don't do that, ever. Chandra doesn't have that many board wipes. You know, she's... Even if that is Chandra's deck, you're gonna have a really, really, really bad time trying to do damage to me. Or trying to get the board wipe that she needs. If she can't trade one for one with this deck. That's very bad. Especially since I have, like, card advantage with the Goblin Ridge Leader. A ring leader. Rage leader. Ugh. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, obviously I don't want to overextend, but I need to get in for enough damage. So, you know, I'll drop the Ember Hauler next turn because I can sack it even if it is Chandra's deck. It is Chandra's deck, see? This is not what you want to do. You want to wait for me to play a 1 1 and do that because you don't want to do the damage to me. I, we just went one for one there and I took one damage. I'm like, okay, that's fine. That's perfectly okay with me. You know, I'm not upset with that at all. If you would have waited until I played the arms dealer, then that would have been a good trade because she was well, two for one of me. So when you're playing Chandra's deck against this deck, you need to make sure that you know what you're doing. You know, it's not an easy matchup by any means. Now, I realize I just gave up the Ember Hauler, but that also just drew me three cards and another Ringleader. I'm okay with that. Also, I don't think that Chandra has any instant speed. Uh, mass board wipe. That'll kill one of them. Good call. You still take two. And you have four cards in your hand, four lands on the field, and I have one creature and seven cards in my hand. It's like I can already tell you who's going to win this game. <laughs> oh, that's a problem, though. Not really. <laughs> I'm going to go arms dealer, sack it, kill it. Arms dealer. Sacrifice a goblin. Do four damage there. And we'll sack the arms dealer. Go figure. One for one. And I get in for two more damage. Seems okay to me. You see, I'm okay with the one for one traits in this deck. Because Chandra should be able to go more than a one for one against me. Inferno Titan, that kind of sucks. I might not have a way to deal with that. That could be bad. Let's see here. Huh. Play him, then play the Ridge Leader. Or the Ring Leader. Ugh. Ring Leader. I think that's the right call. Play him, play the Ring Leader. He can only kill one of them. Next turn, I'll take six. And be able to swing back full force. Hopefully. The goal is to get the uh, Reckless one as big as possible. I mean, he might just do all nine to me. That's an entire possibility. That would be the, the dumb choice. I mean, unless... Yeah, 
two and one, it looks like. I figured that would happen, but I wanted to get both of those cards out that turn. We'll skip blocking, I'll take six. Go down to 11. Ends his turn. We have a ton of options now. Seven mana means that I can play him and these. And he's gonna drop two here and take out one of the tokens, which leaves me with four creatures out. So when I drop the reckless one next turn, So he'll take out these guys. I'll have four creatures out. I really need to block one with something. Okay, that's fine. That kind of might change my plan a little bit. That definitely changes the plan. Um... You want to be able to drop the Reckless one, which is four, five, six, seven, eight mana ideally is what I need to be able to drop next turn. That'll get me in for a ton of damage. Not as much as it should be though. Um... So let's see what happens here. Okay, I'm okay with that. That's perfectly fine. He'll kill the three one ones. I'll need to block. Block there, okay. Let's see. So it'll be two, four, five, six, so he'll be seven, eight from that, then we have nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 that I get in with? Hmm. Right? I mean, hmm. Let me think about this. That's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus the other six, 14 damage total, which sucks. Um, I think we lose, but just barely. We might be able to survive another turn. If I drop the Reckless one, and we see what we draw, I think that's our only option right now. Also, depending on what he draws, that's going to come into play a lot. Because I do need to get in for that damage no matter what, to actually stand a chance of surviving. So he attacks, he kills these two, and I block with one. Take two. And I have a 1-1 one, one out. Unless you go... I mean, I don't think he has a way to kill the reckless one. If he decides not to attack, then I think I win. But, I don't know. We'll see what the right play is here. 
That Inferno Titan just ruins days against an aggressive deck. If he has a burn spell, he wins. And that's all there is to it. If he has a burn spell, he wins this game. But I don't know. I think he's in his combat step. So I don't know what he's doing. I'm I'm very I'm a very confused panda right now. He needs to attack and kill my two goblins to make the reckless one a one, uh, two two, and then I need to block with one and make it a one one. He doesn't have any other way to deal with my creatures. Is he just gonna skip his combat step? He has seven mana. I don't think he can do seven damage to me with a burn spell. Okay. Okay. That's what you need to do. Go two and one. Or if you put all three in my face, I would laugh and win this game. One, 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 and one. Huh. I mean, yeah, I've got to sack it anyway. You should have just went 1-1 one, one and burned my face for one, but it's fine. Oh, cool. That's fine. He almost, he almost lost the game had I been able to have two more damage out in the field. I could have made everything big and hit him for 12. Or I had 14 damage last turn. Oh man, though. I don't think he knows what I'm talking about, but the turn that he burned the these creatures down, these two, he should have just attacked and killed them instead of doing that, but oh well. I mean, I can't beat an Inferno Titan with a deck full of 1-1s, so it's alright. We'll play the next game. We'll be right back.